Hi, I'm Dan at VintageVelo.org and today we are going to tackle a Strava KOM on a vintage bike. Uh, now the bike I've gone for today is my faithful 1998 Mercatone Uno Pantani Bianchi recreation. Uh, now it's very early in the season, uh, we're still in mid-March. Um, I was in the UK yesterday, it was freezing cold, I rode in full winter kit, it was horrendous. I popped out here uh, to France and it is a really, really nice day. Um, and uh, tomorrow looks a bit wet, so I thought, let's just go for it. Now, I don't normally do a lot of Strava KOMs. I've had a fair few in the past, but now I tend to use it more for overall speed, logging distances, that kind of thing. But over winter, I was out here uh, in February, tried a different route and something popped up it was a very nice climb hadn't done it before and uh, i did it a couple of times and i wasn't that far off the kom but i was very cold wasn't really trying so it kind of made me think hey i reckon with a bit of a nudge i might be able to do quite well now i don't think i can take it uh, we're in france it's very very competitive out here for strava koms um, you know there are some superb riders really superb riders on these local roads um, but we'll give it a go nonetheless now i've done my homework on the uh the segment itself um it's not particularly long just under 800 meters so just less than a kilometer uh, average gradient is about 4.2 percent but it does level out at the top um so uh, overall the average in the center section is about six and a half percent um, and you go into it via a fast entrance which is good so really the objective is hit it as fast as possible out of the saddle on the drops pantani style give it everything oh, oh that's a bug down the throat oh my god okay no bugs in the uh, kom attempt and the idea is on the drops out of the saddle give it everything i can to try and hold the speed and get over the top and see how that comes out the intention is to totally detonate maybe about 50 yards before the end and uh, then i know i've got it about right um, we won't know till the end how this goes and uh, yeah we'll uh, dig in and see how it goes now it's about another 30 kilometers away Bonjour. So not that far from the segment now in preparation tires uh, they have been pumped up to 85 psi uh, and i have oiled the chain and tightened up the velcro straps on my shoes and that's about it um, excuses let's get them in straight away um, i've only just arrived i've been traveling all day i'm taking this opportunity with the weather to have a little go at this because the weather goes downhill for the next couple of days uh, so i'm a little bit tired uh, the wind is a definite crosswind, you really need it behind me. Um, most KOMs that you take tend to be with a good gust of wind pushing you from behind. So I'm kind of hoping for a nice slow moving lorry uh, to drag me up this hill, that would be excellent. Um, now, the hill itself, yeah, 800 odd meters a segment, 600 of that is hill, only half of that is about 6%, but I'm going to hit it very fast and I need to hold an average of about 30, 31 kilometers an hour to be any chance of getting a top 10, um, which is quite swift for an uphill for me. Um, I'll hold it for a fair bit. No idea how it'll go towards the top. It all depends when I completely implode. Okay, building up speed now, just through this little town of Boy Barre, and it's just out the other side. The wind definitely turning into more of a headwind uh, which is a bit of a shame so I'm gonna blame that if this doesn't go at all well but head down as much speed as possible and here it comes okay climbing changing a couple of gears gonna lose a little speed good this is the one let's go Come on! Starting to hurt! Come on! No change! Come on! 
Detonate those quads. Come on. Ah, oh, hurting now. Change. Go again. Okay, so made it back uh, from riding that segment, um, picked myself up, recovered a bit, and I'm now at my local cafe where I've had a chance to have a look at the Strava results. Great news. We got ourselves a crown, king of the mountains on that segment. Um, that went really, really well. Obviously, uh, the um, Bianchi Mega Pro was superb, but I expected that from that bike because I do ride it a lot. Um, now, does open up a couple of questions. What would that segment be like um, on a super modern carbon super bike? Um, now, for sure, you're gonna probably enter that climb a little bit faster. I hit that at about 45 kilometers an hour. Um, you're probably, due to aerodynamics, gonna pick up an extra two or three kilometers an hour on the approach, and definitely you're gonna save a couple of kilos in weight, so that would help. Rolling resistance, gearing, all the same, doesn't matter for Toffee. Um, so I think probably maybe a little bit quicker. I have a feeling I may be, be returning back here uh, in a few months to uh, give um, a super bike a go on that same climb, and definitely a tailwind would have helped. I definitely had a crosswind and a bit of headwind there, um, which didn't help. I was definitely pushing against that, but uh, was able to power through. Also, what would it be like on some real classic vintage steel? Um, something from the 50s or 60s, uh, fully toe clipped in. Might be a bit of a challenge that one. So I think again, I might have to return and give that a go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer there. Um, do uh, like and subscribe for more vintage bikes and rides. The weather this year is finally starting to turn so we can get out there and ride some really cool bikes. Thanks a lot.